I feel like Vitafly gonna recap this and say God he caught a 30 on the dime roll. So all y'all wanna know what happened, I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. That one was crazy out of the game. Sometimes that's Peter, nobody that knows body. Hit his area with 51. Everything in the Vitafly. We used to rap it like that. I ain't have a scale But I knew the plug, I ain't need a scale I cleaned it up, now I'm too legit Adi boom Adi boom Adi boom No, 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 no See, you did it, you did it again You, you ran your, you ran your mouth What? You supposed to be inside the house anyway, first and foremost Aren't you supposed to be inside the house social distancing? You you quite obviously have not grasped the concept of what Good said, of what pretty much anybody else with, a, with any kind of comprehension has said about you in this whole situation. So for those who have, who don't know, here's the backstory. Adi Boom did an interview yesterday with Uncle Rob, 15 Minutes of Fame, salute to him and everything that he does. And he talked about, well, well, well before I even get, get into this, the two murderers, who shot Ahmaud Arbery have been arrested. Now this is nothing to really celebrate because George Zimmerman was arrested and a lot of other people were arrested too when they've done crimes against black people. But this is a small step forward. And I know people were like, oh, why y'all talking about this and this, this and this, trying to say, you know, that it was a popular thing so we were talking about it. It's like, dude, bringing awareness to a situation that a lot of people did not know about. I didn't even know about it till the last two, three days and then I found out, really, once I saw the video, me and Showtime SP spoke about it. So when you have a platform and you bring enlightenment to something like that, it's not, oh, you're just trying to jump on. You know, that subject doesn't do the views that this is going to, that what I'm about to talk about after this, I could talk about stuff like this and do the real views that pay bills and that bring money. That, that me talking about that, what is that? Chinese food maybe? Something really simple? It comes from a genuine place and you want to look out for your brothers and sisters. If you don't have anything positive to say in reaction to it, you could just keep on scrolling and not even watch the content. But uh, we, we'll, we'll be keeping our eyes on that too. Now, boom. 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 You need to shut the fuck up. Like, in, the, in regards to what's going on right now, shut up. Like, why, why, why don't you just be quiet? Like, you're, you're better off saying nothing at this point. If you're not coming with facts to prove what they're saying and what everybody's saying or Big K showed the world is not real, then don't say, nobody wants to hear you stand in front of Uncle Rob for 20 minutes and deflect everything and basically blame everybody else for talking about your situation. Do you understand that this is battle rap? You do understand that this is battle rap, right? And the way it works, I know you were gone for five years, you know what I'm saying? There's people who was around blogging that ain't around no more that when you were here. It's, it's a different era now. Maybe people drop blogs once a week, once every other week, things like that back in the days. This ain't back in the days no more. You got a million bloggers, a million blogs dropping per day. That's just the way it goes. And there's no way. And and now that there's people getting paid, yes, you're gonna see content. Some people are gonna be dropping content about anything. It doesn't matter. Now, I don't call myself that. I like to drop content about things that are relevant and things that I feel like have some significance to them. And you jumping in front of a camera to basically say nothing for 20 minutes is is embarrassing. Like I don't even know where you thought that that was gonna help you at. You said, and I quote, that you couldn't get your paperwork, cause who the, first of all, you got that Puma coat on still. You need to take that Puma coat off and throw that shit in the dumpster. Like that's not even wavy, right? That is the most non-wavy thing that you, that you own. Like who wear, I've never even seen anybody own a Puma bubble. And you've been wearing that joint since the face off. You ain't got another coat? Like, don't even wear no coat, man. You might not even wear no coat, man. There's a coat got a wire. Positive, positive. Okay, so get rid of that coat. We have seen that coat way too many times, first of all. Secondly, um, you're deflecting. You're doing a lot of deflecting. You're blaming everybody else for your situation. You're blaming bloggers. You're blaming different battle rappers. You're blaming leads. First, and then you did the freestyle. I didn't even blog on the freestyle because the freestyle was 
was horrible. That shit did nothing for you. It, did, it made you look crazy. You know, you're doing a lot of everything else except getting the paperwork. And I know why you ain't got the paperwork, because the paperwork that we've seen, the paperwork that we've seen is some of the paperwork. What that paperwork was, was one of your co-defendants was filing an appeal. So that was his paperwork to try to get his appeal together. And in the paperwork, he's basically saying that you provided a statement. Now, your standing argument is, I didn't go on the stand, I didn't point nobody out, yada, yada, yada. Sometimes you can say enough without even having to go on the fucking stand and point nobody out. Now, Big K, you're just making Big K bigger and bigger. Every time you do this, you're making Big K, a person who people don't even like, look bigger and bigger and better and better and people don't. You know how hard it is to do that? You're making Big K look better than any battle that he could have. That round against you, that shit was a career ender. LP can't book you right now. He can't even stand by you. He stood by you all these years. And he can't, he could not publicly go out right now and stand by you. That's my man. We holding him down. He would look fucking crazy out here. Now you're saying that there's leagues that want to book you. I'm sure they do want to book you. I'm sure they do. I am sure they do want to book you. It ain't many. I, but I, I, and I'm sure it's probably some side leagues just to try to see you get killed. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh man. They booked the dude who, who said N-word in a battle and got snuffed. They booked him right afterwards. They want to see people go to NASCAR to see cars crash. They don't go to NASCAR to see, oh, man, it's the same now. You know, there may be some, but people want to see people crash. They want to see this type of stuff. They go to the petting zoo when people put their head in the lion's mouth. They don't put their head in the lion's mouth to see him fucking make it. They want to see him get bit. But listen, you're saying you're talking to you're talking too much. <laughs> you're talk you are talking too much. Shut up. Like what if you're not going to have the paperwork or have something that's gonna prove what you're saying is true, you need to shut up. Big K already proved his point. The world has seen his point. Now, you say all the courts is closed because of corona, corona, corona. I don't know whose intelligence you're insulting, but whatever. You battled him on February 29th. You mean to tell me from February 29th to almost the middle of March, like the 23rd, that's when Corona really popped off. My birthday was March 15th. We were still outside. So let's just say from the 29th of February to the 15th of March, you are going to let people believe this and you're not going to go get your paperwork? Are you fucking, who do you think is stupid? We're not stupid here. Like, we're not. You could have got that shit already. You, if you wanted it bad enough, you could have got it. First of all, you should have had it. But if you didn't have it, you could have went and got it by now. That's like telling somebody, yo, you ain't got a marriage license. And you can't go to the DMV and get your marriage license the same day. Or you can't go to the courthouse. Or you can't call your lawyer and get the shit the same day. You look crazy and you look stupid out here. For real. Like, And I guess you think that you said what you see ain't really what it is. Then what is it then? What What is it then? And then you're like, oh... The bloggers is trying to trying to set me. Nobody ain't trying you you. Nobody's trying to set you up, fam. That's first of all. And then you was talking about league owners. I think you're talking about No Mercy because he's the only nigga that blogs and is a league owner. So we can read between. You talking to him. shut the fuck up, my nigga. Shut up. Shut. Sh shut your damn mouth, man. Shut up. Shut up. Stop talking. That's the only thing that can help you right now. Shut the fuck up. You're talking too much. Golly, my nigga. And the interview was horrible. You stood up for 20 minutes. How are you stand up for 20 minutes? You stood up for 20 minutes pacing and circuit your body language? You know most, they say 80% of communication is nonverbal. Your nonverbals were all over the place. You know, you know, they ain't gotta believe me, but 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 I know. Oh man, they calling me all crazy right now. Oh, I was, you look crazy, my nigga. And you probably practiced that speech every day for the last month and a half. Went up there and bombed that shit. Like, I don't know. I I mean, I know Uncle Rob's gonna interview you because people are gonna watch it. You know what I'm saying? That's gonna be the and it has more it had more thumb down than thumbs up. People hate the video. I would call him tell him take that shit down. Take that shit down, bro. Like take it down, take it down. When bad way, it didn't work. And it's the second interview that you had that has fell flat, my nigga. Like, what are you doing here? I mean, and then his title, Adi Boom breaks his silence. It's like my nigga. Oh my god, bro.
bro, 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 bro. So, I would highly suggest you listen to Goods advice. Goods told you that you gotta get you gotta get that right. You gotta clean that up, and don't say nothing until you clean it up. He was doing you a favor, like yo, he's telling, he's giving you free game, my nigga. Don't say nothing. Go to court, get your shit together. And you don't even, no, nobody's really was even expecting this. You dropping exclusive bombs about shit that we wasn't even, nobody needed you to come out and make another fucking statement. We need your ass to go to court and come back with the paperwork and point out line for line for line for line. Now, is there some scenario, there could be some weird scenario where niggas trying to get out of jail and his, you know, appeal says shit like this, this, and this. But the original documentation would be something that you should have or something that you should be fighting tooth and nail to get, my nigga. If that's not the case, if it's not the case, but you just telling people, that shit, you've been to jail, my nigga. That shit don't work. Like, niggas don't want to hear you say this, this, and this. Oh, this ain't happening. And you talking about my niggas here and I don't know how it works. Nigga, it works the same every motherfucking way. It works the same, nigga. It works the goddamn same. And a lot of shit is available through courts online now because I know the shit is all closed because of COVID, COVID. But there's a lot of shit available online. And when courts were open, we ain't see you really making no attempt to get no shit. We seen you go up in that lawyer's office and, and, and do this dumb shit with the camera trying to film. He was filming that nigga too. He was filming the fucking lawyer looking stupid as hell. And that's where it went. So I'm going to just be honest with you, bro. And in regards to this, just shut the fuck up. It's your best bet. Shut up, shut up. No more interviews, no more none of that shit. Just, just please, just be quiet, my nigga. Shut your ass up and take care of your business because, and a lot of people in battle rap are saying, you packed up anyway. They're like, get you, you, it ain't gonna happen. Nigga said, you gotta go work at Lowe's or Home Depot or some shit like that. Uh, if I gotta choose, I'll probably say Lowe's. I'll probably say Lowe's. I ain't really heard a lot of bad shit about Lowe's, man. I'm just saying, niggas are saying you might want to get a fucking job, my nigga, because you talking too much, and it ain't leading to nothing. You did all of that talking just to look crazy as fuck out here. I got niggas in the NBA, niggas in the NFL, all that shit hitting me up today looking crazy. Like, yo, what is this nigga doing? Why is he, what the fuck is he talking about? These niggas ain't even got been to jail for a fucking parking ticket. And they like, yo, tell this nigga to shut the fuck up. Shut up. Shut up. Nigga, shut the fuck up, bro. <sighs> you look crazy out here. Retire the Puma coat. Get the Puma coat the fuck out of here. I don't know what you... Get, get the Puma coat out of here, my nigga. Hang that up. You gotta hang that up. If you, when we see you on camera again, it's almost fucking just middle of May. You in a bubble still? That's why I'm more mad at you for that than I am for anything. I'm mad at you because you're still wearing a fucking bubble coat and it's 65 degrees outside, my nigga. Take that shit off and get rid of it. And stop talking. Stop, stop, stop. Let me get something to drink, man. Let me get something to drink. Why? Can I give him more? Give him more. Give him more? Give him more. All right. You think we want to take Big K side? You think we want to? You think? Do you think? want my nigga and then you talking real spicy talking about I hope I'm paying y'all YouTube my nigga I could show you what we make off of it it's cool but it ain't great off of you nigga you ain't making no motherfucking recap battle money nigga you're making a couple pennies here and there but you ain't and nigga we don't want to talk about that shit you making us every time you jump your dumb ass in front of a camera trying to think that you're going to talk your way around some shit you give us a reason to turn our cameras on. I wouldn't have made this blog. Yo, this is for you. This is for you. You talking about niggas that never met me before. Nigga, why would niggas want to meet you before? The niggas that met you. I know niggas that know you that tell me that they don't want to talk to you. They're like, nah, man. I, I don't feel it's in my place. I don't feel it's in my place. I don't know that nigga like that. I don't want to be involved with his shit. In the industry, niggas is like, nah, I'm staying away from that shit. Get it together, my nigga. And shut the fuck up. Shut up. Fuck is you doing? Get your composure together. Create something that's worth talking about. Get your paperwork and present it the way it needs to be fucking presented. Lay the shit out on the table. Highlight the shit like Big K did. Show us what happened. And we'll move on. But if you can't do that, zoop, 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 zoop. Priority mail. You pack the fuck out of here. I'm gone. There's nothing else more to talk about. Shut up.
I shut the fuck up, my nigga. Shut up. Shh. Shh. Not a tweet. Not a Facebook message. Not a MySpace. Nothing. Shut the fuck up. Bye. Living in. I'm crazy enough to move through this shit. These bitches, they be looking for a Mr. Right. Just to finesse and do a nigga wrong. I seen a nigga run through life, pretty K. Just to fuck it off with a potential bay. Get up and.